Hi there. My name is Vera Balenciaga. I live in New York City, and I'm the number one hit woman for the Balenciaga crime family. You heard of the five families, right? Well, we're number six. I'm actually uh, kind of famous for revolutionizing my industry. I I'm a successful businesswoman in a male-dominated world, which is a fucking accomplishment in and of itself. But I'm also an activist. I've introduced a zero waste policy from my marks. <laughs> Thinking about the climate change crisis that our planet is currently facing literally keeps me up at night. So I'm just trying to do my part to reduce my carbon footprint as much as possible. I, I absolutely understand the value of sending a message, but do it responsibly, you know? And it's through this new innovation that I've rediscovered my passion for cooking. I make it a point to use every part of my mark. Especially now that grocery stores are running low on ingredients that you used to be able to find without much trouble. Human meat tastes a lot like chicken. You just have to tenderize it a bit first. My cooking style is a lot like me. Simple, sexy, and dangerous. I may be a killer, but I'm also creative. I have loved cooking ever since I was a kid. Sundays were always reserved for making the big sauce with the healthy, sustainable, organic ingredients pulled right from the garden, just like Nana did in Sicily. That's, that's really important to me. I uh, personally don't have my own garden just yet, but I am on the wait list for the community garden down the street. <laughs> it's been three years. Guess they don't have that much movement. But I, I think this just highlights how I thrive in competitive environments. Now, now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Why not just take this whole community garden situation into my own hands? I mean, I am the most sought after female assassin on both coasts, right? Should be able to make that evil bitch Dolores who manages the whole thing come around to my side of things, right? But uh, you know what? True power comes from restraint from knowing from, from when and how to use your leverage to get your desired results. I'm a very patient person. Growing up in a crime family, you don't get a lot of time to explore your hobbies. Everything you do, everything you work for, everything you sacrifice is for the family. It's like this music box, the gift from my mother. I took it everywhere when I was a kid. When I was about 10, I was running an errand with my dad and my Uncle Joey. We were waiting in the car for one of his marks to come out, and I, uh, I wound my angel here, and the music started to play. My dad turned around and broke it in half. Guess I accidentally gave our position away. He handed the broken pieces back to me and he told me, why don't you be somebody I can be proud of one day? So I became this badass hit woman to impress my dad. The thing about my dad is you can't impress him. Yeah. I'm really good at killing people, but uh, it's not what I love, you know? Cooking is what I love. Of course, I just do this for fun, but can, can I make it into a career? So I figured, it's 2020. Go after what you want, Vera. Because if I were to get one of the four coveted spots in the quarantine cookout and win the grand prize, it would prove that I can do this. That I'm not just a superstar hit woman. Maybe then my dad would be proud of me. And with that $25,000 prize, I could buy myself a food truck. So today, I'm making my signature dish. Fusilli puttanesca con tono e citron meyer e erba cipollina. It's really good. Okay, so you're gonna start by having a good brand of pasta that you're gonna cook al dente. 
Then you really want to find the best tuna that you can find packed in oil, okay? So you mix that in with the cooked pasta. Then chop up some black Kalamata olives, a little sprinkle of crushed red pepper, a nice tomato sauce on top. But then the most important thing, you want to take your chives and you chop them right over the top of the dish. Makes it nice and fresh. Then last but not least, you want to squeeze a Meyer lemon and you pour that right on at the end. You mix it up, it really brightens the dish. And there you have it. Simple, sexy, dangerous. Mmm, shameful. I deserve my shot on Quarantine Cookout because I've got the passion, the drive, and the talent to ice out the competition. Fuck me.